I did a live Facebook post a few months back talk, talk about four pillars that are important to you, four different pillars that are important to you in your life. So I'm going to share that clip with you where I'm talking about my four pillars. And I want you guys to think about what your four pillars would be. What are the four most important things in your life that you want to be remembered for? How are you going to share it? How are you going to tell people about it? So just think about that um, and leave your four pillars in the comments. I'd like to have a discussion about everybody's different pillars that they want um, their life to be known for. So I thought I would just um, take a minute and just kind of, I don't know, be real with you guys. Um, so as you guys know, I'm, I'm selling uh, this makeup, but I wanted to talk about something else. Leadership skills and um, self-motivating skills. And it's not all just about the makeup. It's more about making yourself um, feel good about yourself, empowering yourself, empowering others. And they've taught us about this concept of about these four pillars. And these four pillars are things that you find um, most important to yourself or that define you as a person. And so um, ever since I've started that, I've been trying to decide kind of what my four pillars are because I want my Facebook and my Instagram to kind of um, reflect the four pillars. So I've really been thinking about it. And um, my four pillars, um, my number one is um, being a woman, a wife, and a mom with cerebral palsy. Um, that obviously is basically my entire life and what defines me as a person. Cerebral palsy doesn't define me as a person, but how I react to it, how I live my life with cerebral palsy, how I motivate myself or motivate others, that's how I define myself. And being a mom for anybody is difficult. Um, and then adding cerebral palsy has definitely made it interesting. You know, in my life, I never thought I'd even have the opportunity to be a wife and a mom because of the cerebral palsy. But now that I am, it's like, I need to use this experience to help other people. And so I am gonna be focusing a lot on um, being a mom with cerebral palsy and being a wife and how, how that uh, affects me and affects my child and my husband and the different types of things that we have to adjust to because of it. Um, my next pillar is my family. Uh, my family is everything to me. And so a lot of my posts will be about my family and how important they are. And that's my immediate family or uh, my extended family. Um, family is a huge support. And for those of you that might not have supportive families, then rely on your friends. Friends are just as important as your family. And sometimes they are your family. Um, my third pillar um, is I'm trying to motivate people. I, I am a motivational speaker and I go around and I speak um, and I help people to find the strength to never give up. And so some of my posts might be about that, about never giving up. We all have hard circumstances in our lives, but if we take the time to figure out how to learn from those, um, then they will always benefit us no matter what. And we can all do hard things. That's, that's my mantra in my life is I can do hard things and to never give up. And the more things become hard in our lives, the more they build us as a person and we become a stronger person. And then um, the last pillar is just to have fun and to live life to its fullest. With all these tragedies going on, um, you just never know what's going to happen in your life. And you just need to live each day as it might be your last and to enjoy life no matter what it brings. And that doesn't mean that you have to be happy all the time. Believe me, I am not happy all the time. But if you can try to find something positive 
out of every experience, then your life will be a lot more enjoyable. And that's and sometimes you have to take risk. And that's kind of why I'm doing this makeup thing. I've never um, done anything like this before, but I was so passionate about the makeup that I thought I'd take a risk. And then finding out that you can make all these friends and they teach you about leadership and they teach you how to feel better about yourself. I mean, that's just an added bonus. So um, I just wanted to get on here and just kind of explain how things might change with my Facebook and my Instagram and wanted to talk about the four pillars and um, what's important to me. And if you want to find out more about um, my four pillars or the makeup or anything like that, just visit my Instagram or my Facebook page. Um, you can always direct message me. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.